the Philip J. Pierre-led government continues to advance plans to strengthen the hand of the police force to mount a more intense and effective response to areas affected by high crime rates. On March 16th, the lower house convened for a special sitting for the tabling of the Suppression of Escalated Crime Police Powers Act. Prime Minister and Minister for National Security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, introduced the proposed bill in Parliament only five days after announcing to the nation his anti-crime action plan to restore law and order in the Viafort South constituency. The government recognizes the harm that can be caused to communities in St. Lucia, not only in Viewfort, as a result of increase in crime. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, the crime of supplying and distributing illegal guns and firearms can cause harm to the users and to the country generally. In addition, the supply of illegal ammunition and illegal firearms threatens the lives of and causes harm to people who are sometimes innocent. The formation of gangs with the whole purpose of committing crimes and causing harm to individuals in society lends to the increased occurrences of crime in St. Lucia. The Police Powers Act, constructed by the Attorney General, Honorable Leslie Mondesi, in consultation with the High Command of the Police Force, is a legal instrument that establishes a framework to protect public order, public safety, and economic stability. The Police Powers Act received unanimous support from government legislators, including the members of parliament from V4 North. There are times, not only in this house, but in your life, when According to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., there are times when the urgency of now presents itself and you must act. And this is one of this is one of these times. The urgency of now. Mr. Speaker, I support this bill because it provides police officers with additional powers for the suppression of escalated crime. And Member of Parliament for VA4 South. And as harsh as it is to do what has what has been proposed here, we all in the various capacities that we have got to make use of this opportunity. On the one hand, I will have to be preoccupied with seeing how I can heal my constituents after this. The Police Powers Act authorizes the National Security Minister, on the advice of the Commissioner of Police, to designate an area affected by high crime rates as an escalated crime area. The National Security Minister's order may be published in the Gazette. Once a designation order by the National Security Minister is issued, the police force will have the authority to move in and execute intensified tactical operations. Summary convictions for offenses made under the Police Powers Act attract fines not exceeding EC $50,000 or to imprisonment terms not exceeding 15 years or to both. Convictions on indictment for offenses made under the Police Powers Act attract prison terms not exceeding 25 years. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.